regular expressions are the formulas that you are using them to describe a text. In free speech, it is widely used for describing extensions, dial plans, color ID, Kali, DID, etc. It's essential to learn regular expressions or regex to be able to work with the free switch. In this video, we will learn what are the common regular expressions in a telephony word, especially in the free switch. And we will learn how to test regular expression using the FSCLI or uh, online services like Regex 101. So let's get started with regular expression or Regex in the telephony world, especially in the free switch. Here is a list of regular expressions that are widely used in the telephony world, including free switch. We will go through all of them one by one and we will test using some tools such as Regex 101 is an online website that you can insert your regular expressions and the test string and it will give you some explanation of the regular expressions and also if the strings are matched to the regular expression or not. Of course, you can use FreeSwitch and FSCLI to do this uh, matching. For example, if you uh, enter to the FSCLI and if you use this command regex value expression, then it will give you a result. For example, if I want to know this string is matched to these regular expressions, I just need to enter to the FSCLI, type regex, the pattern that I want to check, pipe, and the regular expressions. For example, here the answer is true because this value is matched to this pattern. Don't worry about the pattern, we will learn them, we, are, we still didn't start them, so just you should know that we, are, we can use the regex command in the FSCLI, for example, in case you don't have access to the internet or any regular expression checker. So let's start with the first uh, regular expression. And these two symbols that you are seeing here, and uh, they are mm, identifying the start and end of a line. So every regular expression that we are defining, it should start with the symbol and end with the symbol dollar. Next one is s slash d matches a digit and it is equivalent to 0 to 9. Here I have an example. So as you can see here, I used the start symbol and also the dollars to specify the end of the regular expression that, I'm young, that I want to use. So here I have a slash d, a slash d, a slash d. What does it mean? It means that I can have three characters and all of them should be between zero to nine. They should be a digit. For example, here, ABC is not matched to this one. All, it is three digits, but it's not, it is three characters, but they are not three digits between zero to nine. So this is not matched. Or for example, here, uh, we have four digits. It is not matched. Or AB1, the AB is not a digit between zero to nine. But 874 is matched to this pattern that we have. So a slash D is a very widely used regular expression in telephony world. And as you can see here in the uh, explanation here as well, a slash D matches a digit and it is equivalent to zero to nine. Next one is a slash D, but D is capital. It's somehow reverse of what we have learned in the previous uh, slide. It is matches any character that's not a digit, equivalent to actually not zero to nine. It means that, uh, for example, here uh, we have S slash D capital, S slash D capital, and S slash D uh, small. D capitals means it, it can be any character, but they cannot be digits. And the third one is that it has to be digit. So for example, here ABC is not matched, but X and three is matched, or uh, it, it, 
slash d capital uh, match any character that is not a digit. As you can see here, I use symbols. For example, exclamation mark or at. They are still included in the slash d. So uh, pay attention to that. A slash d means matches any character that is that's not a digit. Next one is dot. Dot matches any character except for line terminators. What does it mean? It means that, for example, uh, let's, let's look at this example. We start and we end with these two symbols, and it is three dot. It means that we can put any character here including digit, including characters, including symbols. Uh, and the only uh, limitation is that it is three digits, as you can see, because we have three dots. So dot matches any character except for line terminators. Uh, as you can see here, uh, line one, two, three, four are four matches that we have here. Next one is actually pipe, that means OR. For example, XYZ uh, pipe ABC means XYZ OR ABC. For example, here I have a regular expressions ABC pipe 1 to 3. It means that the whole string can be ABC OR 1 to 3. It should be exact match. So if you see the explanation here, the first alternative is ABC. And the second alternative is 1 to 3. So here, 1 to 3 and ABC are matched to the regular expression that we have. Next one is XYZ. XYZ matches any single character in the list, in the list of XYZ. And it is case sensitive. So if they are in the list uh, symbol, for example, here we have uh, a, B, C, 1, 2, 3. It means that uh, matches any single character in the list of A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, and they are case sensitive. For example, uh, pay attention, this is just one character, and this one character should be in any of these matches that we have here. For example, capital A is matched to this pattern, or 3 is matched to this pattern, but of course, A, because it is case sensitive, it's not matched. Or 23 is not matched because it is two characters. But here means just one character that that character can be any of these items that we see here. So that's the same as slide uh, 0 to 9. It shows a 0 to 9. It's equivalent to a slash uh, d without actually 0. A slash d, if you can remember, it was 0 to 9. Uh, actually, here is 0 to 9 as well, because this sample is 1 to 9. That's why I had a mistake. So 0 to 9 is equivalent as exactly to a slash d. What does it mean? mean it should be between 0 to 9. For example, here I have a pattern 1 to 9 and 0 to 9. It means that. First of all, it is matched to two digits. So for example, 188, definitely it will not match to this case. And also, the first digit should be between 1 to 9, like this one, 18. The first one is 1, or the first one is 9. And the second one can be 0 to 9. So that's why 90 is matched, and also 18 is matched to this pattern. Why 09 is not matched? Because the first one mentions that the first character should be between 1 to 9, and here it is 0. Uh, next one is the symbol with the M matches the previous token exactly M times. So, for example, here if I have 1 to 9 and then 3, uh, as you can see, it means that the first. Uh, the previous pattern exactly should match three times. So, for example, here is 1 to 9. 999 nine, nine will match. Why? Because 9 is matched to the first pattern, 
and it is exactly repeated three times. Definitely this one cannot match because it is two times. This one won't match. Why? Because here we have O, we have zero, but here in the pattern we don't have any zero. So this uh, cannot be matched. It's three digits, but it's not in the range. 188 will be matched because it is between 1 uh, to 9, each of the batches, and it is repeated three times. So as you can see here, match a single character presented in the list below. So this is the first one. And this tree matches the previous token exactly three times. Next one is if we write like M, uh, comma N, matches the previous token between M and N times. What does it mean? It means that, for example, look at this example. We have one and then two and three. It means that the previous pattern can repeat two or three times. That's why 11 and 111 are matched to this pattern. But of course, 11 is not matched. Why? Because minimum occurrence is at least two. It means the previous pattern, we should have two or three times. Next one is the star. Matches the previous token between zero and unlimited times. So here is the start and end uh, symbols. We have A, a star, means between zero and unlimited times, A can repeat and match this expression. For example, here, I didn't enter anything. I just click enter. So it is a zero, it's a null. It is matched to this pattern. As you can see here, match one is null. Why? Because this star gives us flexibility to match the previous token between zero and unlimited times, and this is zero. Or for example, AA will match this one, but of course A, uh, small a, won't match because this is capital. And because it is a star, I can put 3A, 4A, 10A, unlimited A, it will be a still match to the pattern. So a star is very uh, widely used uh, pattern in the telephony system, and it means matches the previous token between zero and unlimited times. Next one is plus. Plus is exactly like star, but matches the previous token between one and unlimited times. So you should have at least one occurrence of the previous pattern. For example, the same pattern that we have here in the star. As you can see here in the star, we could uh, have a null, but in the plus, we should have at least one A. So that's why null is not matched anymore. So, but AA or multiple A's are matched because at least we have one occurrence or we have multiple occurrence. Even A, I mean, just one capital A will match as well because it has at least uh, one occurrence of the pattern. So plus and a star, the difference is like that. A star is from zero to unlimited, but plus uh, matches the previous token between one and unlimited times. Uh, question mark matches the previous token between zero and one time. This is not unlimited. This is just zero and one time. That's why null will match here because question mark shows that the previous pattern means A can happen zero time. So null is included or maximum one time. So A capital is matched this pattern as well. But AA or small a won't match. Why? Because uh, two capital A is more than one, but question mark matches the previous token between zero and one time. And of course, a small a is not matched to the uppercase A. Here, uh, I provided two examples that I mixed them together. You can use the regex 101 to practice. So go through the list one by one and combine uh, the regular expressions that I mentioned here and uh, make some examples for yourself. For example, here, uh, this is the start and end of the regular expression. We have uh, a small d, capital D, and three. 
If you can remember, the small d matches a digit equivalent to 0 to 9. Capital D matches any character that's not a digit. And 3 matches the previous token exactly 3 times. So, for example, if I put 1 ABC, it will match. Of course, if I put 1 ABC and ABC are not capital, it will match as well because D is just you. It should not be a digit. For example, even, I don't know, 9XYZ will be uh, in this pattern as well. So this is just one example, but this pattern is matches to unlimited examples, actually. Another pattern is this one. Uh, for example, here are the pattern of numbers, uh, mobile numbers in Malaysia. Uh, all the numbers are uh, start with 601. So I just put 601. Next character can be uh, any digit, matches any digit equals to 0 to 9. It can be, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, up to 9. So, for example, 601, then the next one can be 7 or 2. And this digit uh, can match any, uh, can uh, match the previous token between eight to nine times. Look at these two examples because the mobile numbers here uh, can be, can, they have different lengths. So both of them are acceptable. They just need to uh, start with 601. After that, any digit between zero to nine can match and minimum they can be, uh, they should be eight and maximum nine digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here is nine. So minimum is eight digits after 601, and maximum is nine digits after 601. Uh, this is how we can write regular expressions to match, uh, especially in the dial plan. It will be uh, widely used in the free switch, and we need to learn them. Of course, the regular expression are wider than this, but these are the regular expressions that you need to learn for the free switch. I hope uh, this video is useful for you and uh, thank you for watching.